Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and welcome to today's Make It Monday event featuring creative expressions. Now a Make It Monday event is where we have an exclusive bundle just one bundle from a fabulous manufacturer and the price is generally between 80 and a hundred dollars retail but not for you no not anywhere close to that in fact today's bundle is 99 dollars and 75 cents for just 19 dollars and 99 cents I know, Make It Mondays are so popular here. It really does keep crafting affordable for the masses. And you're like, Stacy, how do you get $100 worth of product from these fabulous manufacturers for just $19.99? Well, it is not their most current release, not the latest and greatest, but for 20 bucks, you're going to get a bundle full of product that you might not have ever been able to get otherwise at full retail. So I have creative expressions for you today and I'm gonna walk you through the bundle. I'm gonna show you everything. I have a few little odds and ends that I've added to this Make It Monday. So you will see them as part of the Make It Monday category. And if you order from just inside this category, your order will expedite ship out to you. Now, what have I added to this to this week? Well, when you see the paper and you see the card bases, you will understand why they're beautiful. I do also have to tell you everything except for the card bases. I got plenty of card bases. <laughs> I'm good there. But the Make It Monday bundle for this week and the paper I'm using are limited. What I have is all I'm going to get and I've been hoarding this paper is that wrong I have I've had the paper probably for maybe three months and it's just been sitting on the shelf and I've been like what do I do with it what do I do with it because when I saw it I had to have it I bought it right away not knowing how I was going to use it and then I'm like what am I gonna do with it what am I gonna do with it and then I saw the bundle for this month for today's make it Monday from creative expressions and like Aha! <laughs> so I'm going to walk you through the bundle. We're going to make a quick make. Everything I do today is achievable by everybody. And really, it's all about everything in halves. I'm cutting everything in halves. <laughs> if you can remember, cut it in half. You're going to be good with today. So I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you the bundle. I'm going to show you the paper that I have for you and then I'm going to make the make and at the very end I do have beautiful samples to share with you. So I am Stacy, and this is Make It Monday at Scrapbooking Made Simple. You will not find this anywhere else. Make It Monday is ours. <laughs> and for $19.99 it could be yours too. So let me show you what's in the bundle. Let me tilt on down. Price is $99.75, your price, $19.99. All right, let's see what's inside. It's good to see everybody. And if you're joining me during the premiere, which is every Monday, 5 p.m. sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, live chat going on over there. Be sure to say hello and we will say hello right back to you. Tell us where you're from. Tell us if you're a newbie. Tell us if this is the first time you're ever seeing Scrapbooking Made Simple on our YouTube channel and we will we will say hello right back to you. All right, you guys, so $99.75 down to $19.99 from Creative Expressions. Let me show you what I got. So I'll walk you through the bundle and then we're going to make. And I'm gonna keep the make easy peasy. All right, so what's in my 1999 bundle? Well, to start with, I have got a die that says, hooray, <laughs> okay, I like that. Cute, definitely goes with the theme of the bundle. And then I have a little package Again, definitely goes with the theme of the bundle. So mini dies. 
and then I have the mini Volkswagen bus. We used to have a neighbor. He was called the Mr. Beep Beep Man because he had a Volkswagen bus and he would, when the kids were little, he'd drive them up and down the street in his little Volkswagen bus. Mr. Beep Beep. So those are the three smaller dies, but then I get into the larger dies and these are a interactive die and they are so simple to use and you can use them through your big shot machine or your big kick machine or your switch or your vagabond or your plus or your pro or your fold away. So I've got the, the VW bus. Now you can see why I've got the package. Isn't that so cute? Look at that. Isn't that darling? And the last one I have is a celebrate, whether it be for wedding, New Year's, anniversary, congratulations, retirement. And they all are a pop-out die, a type of a pop-out die. So the bundle consists of three of the paper cuts pop-up dies. And then it also consists of three of the mini dies with the hooray for your sentiment all for $19.99 this is a holy smokes artichokes value I'm gonna be playing with the with the Volkswagen bus just because it's so reminiscent of my my kids childhood but I did want to show you the paper that I'm using now it says limited edition right on it <laughs> and it is it is from Angela Pool, and it is called Rainbow Magic. Hello, Rainbow Magic. So what you have in it are several sheets of, whoop, my top's gonna, top's gonna come right off. We'll use this for somebody in the store. Oh, that came right off. Okay, so what we have in it is several sheets of foiled paper, and then the back is a solid, well, it's a patterned cardstock, and then another sheet and another sheet and now the color the colors are changing look at isn't that beautiful all with that foil on it it's magnificent so several sheets with the foils oh dreamy and then you get into beautiful beautiful cardstock so this is a printed paper so this is printed on white and the colors are absolutely gorgeous so this is we're gonna have to put the top back on here but this is the paper pad that we have for you today and you will understand why the card bases that I'm using which are exclusive here to scrapbooking made simple these are the Sizzix card bases that I have this one is hot pink this one is blue lagoon this one is amber and this one is violet marabella i think it's marabella marabella so the colors the colors of the card bases are so unbelievably perfect for the paper it was like, okay, this is a match made in heaven. The colors are just, I mean, they're just gorgeous. And then to make the dies work, you need to be using card bases. So I thought, aha, I do believe I have a winner, winner chicken dinner. All of them, the, the purples, the blue, it all goes so beautifully together. So this is what we're going to play with today. I'm going to put this one back. And I'm going to start with the die. So everything we do today is kind of going to be cut in half. So let's pull out my die. Oh, here we go. Everything we do is going to be cut in half. So I'm going to take the die. Obviously, this is much bigger than what the die really is. Much bigger. And it will go through almost every die cutting machine. I want to show you that it has two little score lines. 
built into the die down here and then it has score lines up here and up here and down by the tires. This is an easy die to cut and it all is about halving everything you have. So I've got a piece of white paper and I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I've got my card base. And this is the Sizzix card base. It's A6 inside size. It is 10 cards and 10 envelopes for $4.99. But of course, when we put them on sale, they're on sale for $3.99. And again, these colors are colors that I chose and asked Sizzix to manufacture. And I love the colors. So I've got half of my eight and a half by 11 piece of paper and I'm just gonna put it on in here and I wanna make sure that I'm happy with the matting on the sides. And you know what, I am, look at that, I'm pretty well, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna leave the bottom long, I'm not gonna trim it out yet because I may end up a little bit this way, I may end up a little bit that way, it's not going to matter. You're going to take your paper and you're going to cut it in half, then, Easy peasy. I put my die somewhere, doesn't have to be exact, but somewhere close to the center. Now I happen to draw the little score lines with red paint or with red Sharpie marker, just so I kind of knew where they were. And it doesn't have to be exact. That's the super important thing here. Does not have to be exact, whether it be a little lower or a little bit higher. You do want to kind of center it in between the two edges, but that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, I bring over my Big Shot machine, and my Big Shot machine is going to use my base platform. It's going to use my solo shim that comes with it. It's going to use my uh, my precision base plate. So this is a precision base plate that you use with very intricate dies. With a Sizzix machine, you always want, whether you have the older version and it's a black top or the chrome top, you always want that top facing you. See, I can see myself in the mirror. I want to be able to see myself or I want that black facing up. If I can read the directions and I'm about ready to die cut, you need to stop and flip it over because this is the way you want to be able to use it. So I've got my precision base plate on here and that is going to act as my bottom cut plate. I'm not gonna need a bottom cut plate. I'm gonna put my die right on my precision base plate. And again, the most thing that I'm concerned about is kind of centering it between my two white. I have a little bit of on the bottom, I have a little bit on the top, really up to me. Just trying to get it kind of close to the middle, but it doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm going to take a cut plate or a do not cut plate and I'm going to send it on through. And I'm going to give it a nice roll. And forward and then I'm going to bring it back. And pop this off and all my little fallouts fall out all my little pieces and I have got my Volkswagen bug or the bus so cute isn't it so cute so let's go ahead and throw some of this in the trash. Now remember, I have, I have my score lines here. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna score it on those two lines. Easy peasy. And then I have my score lines up here. So I know I'm gonna want it to pop out, so I score the first one up 
and make a little Z, the second one down. And I just give a good press. So the first one is up and the second one is down. This one is going to fold up and this one's going to fold down. And then the last thing I have are my little wheels and those I just have to push forward. This is a very easy die to work with to get the pop out. Pop up, very easy die. That's all it is. I don't have to make my own little tabs to make it work. I just do what's there. Now I could take it and put it right on in. So my score lines that are here are going to match the score that's in my card base. And it just fits right on in. Now I have to decide, am I happy with the pink background? Do I want to do something more? It's really up to me. Let's leave this one just the way it is and let's, let's keep it simple, simple. And I'm gonna take, so I need to trim out my top a little bit because it's a little high and I need to barely trim out my bottom, hardly at all. So I'm gonna do just a little bit of a trim on the top. And there's a little score line that you almost can see from where the die, it's almost like a die, the die left it a, a little line for you just to kind of follow. Let's straighten that out just a little bit. The die really does all the work. So look at, I mean, I'm almost right on. I'm just gonna trim that bottom just a little bit, but it's almost exact. And again, I just cut my paper in half. I took my eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I cut it in half. Line up my score lines and look at there. It's just that simple. Now to put it down, easy peasy. Take some of my little pieces out because we're gonna cut again. To put it down, easy peasy. I'm gonna take some of my Stacy tape. And a little bit on this side and then a little bit at the top. And a little bit on this side. And a little bit at the top. Nope, oh, just peeled that off. So just a little bit of Stacy tape. And I went past the score line on it. And a little bit at the top. Now if I peel my tape off, both sides, and I peel the top off, both sides, now all I have to do is bring my card base over and I'm going to match up my score lines with my score line in my card base. So I'm gonna match up. And match up. And then all I'm gonna do is close it. I'm good. Look at how cute is that? Mm, I'll twist one side a little bit, but that's okay. Look at how cute is that, right? And then I can decorate the front. This is just keeping it super, super simple. So let's go again really quickly. I have my other half of my paper. 
I'm just going to square it up just a little bit. I'm going to take my die, pop out some of the pieces, the fallouts. I've taken half of my piece of eight and a half by 11. I just cut it in half. Put my die right on it. I could go in, although maybe I don't even do that. Maybe I don't even worry and I trim it out after the fact. Could go in and see how it fits here. But I think I'm gonna do that after the fact. I have my two little score lines just so I know where they are. Bring it over, put it on my sandwich for my Big Shot machine, close it up, roll it through, bring it on back. Pop it on out. All my little fallouts fall out, which is exactly what we're looking for. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. So cute. I can put these in my trash. Look at how darling is that. Now I could cut this out and just use this. I could cut my little my little top off right there and just cut him out and use that if I just wanted to do the front of a card. Now again, there's this little line that runs across the top that's like the edge. It's the edge of the die that's hitting right across the top and it leaves this little indent right here, which is a great place to tell you where to cut. Great place to tell you where to cut. So I'm just gonna cut right along. You would use a trimmer, I'm freehanding. And then I know my first score line is here and I know that that has to go up. I need to fold that up. And then intuitively, instinctively, the bus is going to want to fold down. And that's what makes it pop out. The only other thing I have to do now is the wheels. And the wheels need to go forward. And they have score lines, so it's going to fold super easy. And now I've got my pop out. Fold on my score lines on either side. Super fast, super simple. Now I can bring over my card base and I can see, see how perfect by cutting along that score line, kind of where that ridge is, where that die ends, it fits just kind of perfect here. Now I have to decide how much do I want for the bottom because I've matched my, I've matched my score lines here with my score lines here. So let's take off a little bit on the bottom. And this is ready to tape down. It really just doesn't get any easier than this. Truly, it doesn't. They've made it so simple for you. And at this price, I guarantee you, you make two of these and you have got it down. And they all three work in a similar fashion. Expose my sticky, expose my sticky. That 
That was nowhere near the trash can. Ha! I'm not even close. And then my score line there, my score lines here. I just line them up. And then close it up. And done. And then yes, they come with envelopes. 10 card bases, 10 envelopes, $3.99 when we put them on sale. And of course we'll put them on sale. And look at that, you're good to go. Finish decorating, how cute is this, right? They're just darling. But what if I wanted to do more? That's where the Angela Pool paper comes in. So let's see. Let's take another piece of my eight and a half by 11. I'm just gonna cut it right in half because everything I do here is in halfsies. Just remember halfsies. And then let's look at my paper. And what paper do I wanna play with? It's gorgeous. Ooh, maybe this one. Hmm. I don't want to use the foil paper. I'll use that for something else. Or maybe this one. And I do the same thing, halvesies. Now this is A4 paper, so it's a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11, but I don't care, everything in halvesies. Now, let's see, let's grab, let's grab my pink and let's grab a purple. And maybe I'll do the inside of this one in the blue or in the purple. Ooh, that looks really pretty. And maybe I do the inside of this one with this. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So before I do my die cut, I am going to put down a mat on the inside of my card base. I'm gonna do the whole thing, top and bottom. So all I have to do is trim down my mat. Easiest way for me to do that is to decide what mat size I want it to be. That looks pretty good. Flip it over and then I'm just gonna trim the outside off. Now you could use a trimmer and you'd be much closer to an exact measurement. I freehand and I have no idea what that was. <laughs> if you heard that, I freehand and I just go with it. Line it on up. And there's my mat. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, this paper is so lovely. Trim just a little bit right there. Okay, I don't want to lose these two. These are the other half, so I'm going to keep those because I'm going to need to use them. And I've got my halvesies here. So I think I'm just going to put this right on down. Do I like that side? No, I'm going with this side. 
you get I think two of every sheet so you won't have to <laughs> you won't have to decide <laughs> hopefully <laughs> it's hard when both sides are so good right so I'm gonna take off my sticky and I'm gonna line it on up to where I want it close to the top let's try again no boy would I give anything to be able to stand up over the top of this thing There we go. And then to score it, I'm literally just going to close it up. So I didn't pre-do a score line. I just closed it up and let it score itself. So now I've got my background. Isn't that beautiful? But I have to die cut. But I have my pink one too. So let's do the pink one too. Trim it on out. And a little bit more off of this side. good enough to me well, except for that cut right there <laughs> I was so close to being okay with it and then some tape And I suppose I could pull this one kind of back a little bit, but not all the way. And take this one off and then line it up. Higher on top. Ooh, that's almost all the way to the top. Well, I'm going to go for it. And then close it up. Oof, crooked, 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 but that's okay. Close it up. So now I've got my mat on the inside of both of them. Now I can die cut. So I have got my cute little Volkswagen bus. bring over my die cutting machine and I'm going to die cut both of them. Do it at the same, I'll do back to back. So again, I've got my little score lines. For me, it's just easier to kind of know where those score lines are. You don't have to mark up your die, but for me, it's just a little bit, little bit easier to know where they are and then send it on through.
One done. The little pieces fall out easy peasy. I made a little bit of a mess. And then I'm going to die cut the second one. Put all this in the trash. Anybody want to give me a over or under? Oh yeah, not even close. If you chose under, you did well. So my second piece of paper, because I cut it in half, same thing. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Bring it over. Line it up. Make sure you're on your precision base plate. Send it through. Everything's all die cut out for me. Store this on my Sizzix Gotcha tool. Bam, gotcha. <laughs> Sits right on my making space. And let's get rid of the leftovers, all the fallouts, all the little pieces that are just popping right on out. And now I've got two of them done. Okay, let's put our trash. Then I can bring over my card bases. Now I can choose to leave the white so that you don't see anything around, or I can mat it down so you choose to see the mat. Remember, I have got two score lines on the side, and those are gonna fold forward because that's what you're gonna line up. That's what you're gonna line up with the score line inside your card base. Then I have my top score line, which is always going to fold up. And by doing that, it's going to want to make that bus fold down. And the score line is already there for you to make that happen. And then the last thing I have to score, and I'm just using my fingers, are the wheels. And the wheels always fold forward. And that is what's going to finish out your pop-up. Now I can keep it big enough so that you don't see the paper underneath. Then you're saying, why didn't I just use the paper this size? Because if I did, oh, remember I had those halfsies? If I did and I just put the paper this size behind it, and then I put it in and I line it up, it'll cover everything back here, but it won't cover anything down there. Now you can choose to do that, you just have to know that if you don't want to see the card base behind the wheels. Your paper has to go down past it. So I can choose to straighten this on out so that I don't see the paper underneath it. or I can trim it on down. So that the backing paper acts as a mat for this. So 
So I can see I'm too wide on the sides. I'll need to come down a little bit on the sides. And I can tell that I am too low on the bottom, so I'll need to take a little bit off the bottom. And then I can tape it on down. These are so simple to do. And when you have that beautiful paper, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more off the bottom. When you have that beautiful paper, you don't really need to do much more than this. It almost goes in there and does it all for you. straighten that out still not straight there we go it does the work for you and then all I have to do is tape it in place and I'm good to go. Everything lines up. Everything's easy peasy. You don't have to go in there and do a lot of coloring if you don't want to. It's not necessary if you want to do something quick and simple and easy. Truly, this is about a 10 minute card. I'm not going to get out the inks. I'm not going to color. I'm just going to let it be. That looks really good. So I'm going to map this. Put some on the top and on the top. And right there. And then some on the bottom. Pull it back. Let's take off the liner off the top pieces and let's get that top lined up. So no ink. I only die cut one item. I used half of a piece of white paper, half of a piece of the Angela Pool really beautiful paper. Line those two up, up, pull off, down, close, and bam. Now remember, I saved those page, those papers. Remember I say, see, I have these. There's the other half. So I, I can make another card out of this. Do another one, or I can take it and maybe mat on it. I want that one. Do I want this one? Hmm, that's so pretty. I have these over here that I did earlier. Hmm, this one's really pretty. Maybe I put this one on the top of the purple or the blue on the top of the purple. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with the pink. So out of that one sheet of paper, I can do my card, the insert, and I can mat 
and put a front on. And you can mix and match because the paper really does mix and match. Oof, pretty. And then Perfect. Front, open. It's all about the options, but everything's cut in half. So let's say this one, I wanted to do this on the front. Remember, this is the half that's in this one. So I still have half of it left. All I have to do is trim it on down and then I have mats for my card fronts. So I'm gonna do this one here. Grab some Stacy tape. The blue would have been pretty too. <laughs> it's hard to choose, but when you use this pad of paper, Everything works so well together and they all work so well with my my cards and envelopes, the ones that the colors that I picked from Sizzix. Put your sentiment on the front, and then when they open it, bam. You wanna just leave it simple and white on the inside and have the solid color as your backdrop? Go for it. A little bit off the bottom. so good it looks so good and then they open it and bam these dies are simple to use and they're fast these really are 10 minute cards no ink you certainly can add more detail to the images if you want, to the, the champagne flutes and the Volkswagen bus and the birthday present. Sure, you can doll them up and gingerbread them up as much as you want, but you can also leave them just the way they are. And I didn't use a scoring tool. You haven't seen a, sin a single scoring tool yet. Or. Right? All three dies are this simple to use. Remember, half a sheet of paper. That's what gets you your die cut. Then whatever background paper you're using, half a sheet of that, and that's what gets you your insert. Remember to fold up, fold up, and that's gonna instinctively want you to fold down on the bus. And then the wheels, Fold forward, and then your two score lines that you can see.
and then you take it and go from there. And then when it's all done, it folds into place and it pops up. Half a sheet of paper, half a sheet of paper. And then you're left with a half a sheet that you can then take and make your fronts with. So these are by Creative Expressions and they are very cool dies. The pop-up of the, of the present, the colors that are in that Angela Pool paper and the colors that are in the, that are the, the card bases from Sizzix that I picked, they just go so perfectly with this set. They're bright and they're happy and they're fun. And I promise you, when I picked the colors for the card bases, which again, we've got the purple, which is Maribel Violet. We've got Amber. I did hot pink. The hot pink looks great. And I did Lagoon, uh, Lagoon Blue. I did not know anything about this paper. I knew nothing about it. And yet they are a match made in heaven. And then these came along and it was like, oh, this is so perfect. So one bundle, that's it. $19.99 gets you the three pop-ups and it gets you the three smaller dies to enhance with. So six dies, $20, not $99.75. Not anywhere near $99.75, but we are limited. We only have what we have of these. When these are gone, they're gone. Same with the, the Angela Pool paper. We only have what we have. The card bases, I have oodles of. <laughs> I would tell you different if we didn't. But the card bases, oodles of. The paper and the die set for $20, limited. So let me show you the ones that I've done so far. And then I'll show you the ones that they did. So here I did this one a little earlier on the amber and then you open it up and look at how cute is this. It's that perfect paper for it, right? And it matches the card bases so beautifully. I feel like putting a surfboard on here. Oh my gosh. So I did this one and I did this one. And then with you today, I did this one and left the card base alone. I just left it so that the pink backs it. And I left it so the teal, the blue lagoon, lagoon blue. Now all I have to do is find the right piece of paper and put that on there and oh my gosh, stunning. And then I did, oh, I didn't finish this one, but that's okay. You get the idea. But then I have samples from Creative Expressions. Look at how cute is this not as a pop-up. This is the champagne, not as a pop-up. They just trimmed it out and got rid of the pop-up pieces. So cute. And here, Let's celebrate, right? Look at that, just a few little bits and pieces to decorate that bus out with. Let's celebrate. Look at the packet, look at the little gift, isn't that so cute? And it works just like the bus that I was doing. You're gonna use it exactly the same way, but here's the little package just by itself, the little gift trimmed out so it's the front of the card and it's not a pop-up at all. 
And then here, look at the little tag made with the little mini bus. Oh, so cute. Look at that. Hooray! <laughs> look at that. That black paper really sets that off. And it's not that you're getting one die for $20, you're getting six dies for $20. And here, the bus all by itself. Just fussy cut the bus out all by itself. They got rid of, they got rid of the top piece and they trimmed off the little wheels and out it came. Really cute. Champagne bottle, gift. They just snipped them out and made them into something new. So it is all about the $20 value. And then if it makes your heart happy, so $20 for all the creative expressions, if it makes your heart happy, you add in the card bases and, car and envelopes. We'll probably have, we'll do them open stock, but I'll also do an I want it all on these just because it's easier. The four new colors that are only exclusive here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And then the fabulous Angela Pool pack of paper where you have several sheets of foiled paper. Beautiful foiled paper. And then you go into all the double-sided rainbow happiness that just works so well with my, with, well, they're not mine, they're Sizzix, but I pick the colors. So I kind of feel like they're mine. All right, you guys, what did we think? Make it Monday. Always a happy time here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. People look forward to Mondays. It's the one time where they really feel included, where they know, okay, $20 and I can get myself something spectacular, where it's not a $100 bundle or a $200 bundle, where they feel, where you feel like, okay, this is in my budget and it's new for me and it's exciting and I can see all the different ways I can use them and I want them for $20. That is what Make It Mondays are to be. They're meant to keep crafting affordable. The latest and greatest is fabulous, but sometimes it can be a little pricey. Sometimes taking a product that might be just a wee bit older, but getting it for a steal of a deal is a wahoo could chew and you feel so good inside because it's something that is going to make not only your heart happy, but whoever you're creating for. I guarantee you, I give this card to somebody, I finish this card and they open it up, I promise you, they're gonna be happy. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Remember, the sale has already started. The kits, the 1999 kits, we are very limited on, and the paper, very limited on. So if it sells out, I'm sorry, I really am. I think we have enough to handle everybody, but you just never know. All right, I will see you tomorrow for Take Two Tuesday, 5 p.m. Sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, when I take my Stacy Sizzix and my Stacy Jacquard and my Stacy Couture Creations products, and we pair them all up and we make magic with something there. So I will see you for the live chat at 5 p.m. Sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday for our Take Two Tuesdays event. Until then, thanks everybody. See you later. I'm Stacy, and this is Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com.